Every kid draws, and then as you get older, I mean, adults just lose that innate ability to create stuff. But, I mean, artists, I guess, are just the people that don't lose that. I've always been drawing since I was a little kid, but I never really got focused into it until, like, around my senior year of high school. I just kept doing it, and it wasn't until, like, around my senior year when I had a high school, my high school English teacher was, like, the one that really supported me. My art teacher didn't like my work at all. So she kind of told, she told me to stop drawing. People tell you they don't like your work and, but I mean, that was a little bit more weird because it was just in an institution, like she was my teacher. I really like exploring the idea of making ugly things beautiful and beautiful things ugly and kind of that life cycle and creation and destruction. And then through that destruction, creation again and then destruction and going back and forth beautifying bacteria or maggots or that's kind of what this is but the beautification of something that's ugly and that can potentially kill you i mean i'm in the bfa for the bachelor of fine arts for the painting and drawing which is like a fifth year selected program uh so you do your four years and most schools do your bfa at the end of your fourth year you get it and we do it as a fifth year program which is not like any other art school if you're not like fully invested in the idea, then you shouldn't be doing it. The best two ways I've ever heard it put is that if you can imagine yourself doing anything other than art, don't then don't be an artist. Like you're not supposed to be it. Another way is that it's the hardest way to make an easy living. So like, I mean, it's a lot of stress and a lot of time and it's a lot of pressure because you're putting up your work and it's not as consistent as every other job, but yeah. Hardest way to make an easy living.